Now to a high-profile trial getting underway in California this morning. Apple being sued in a case looking into the company's earliest days of remaking the music industry with the iPod. And the star witness, Steve Jobs, three years after his death. ABC's Neil Karlinski has that story for us. This amazing little device holds a thousand songs. It is a potentially one billion dollar case. A class action lawsuit nearly a decade in the making. And if you bought an iPod between 2006 and 2009, you could be eligible for damages if Apple loses. At issue, the claim that Apple previously would only allow music bought from its iTunes store to work on the iPod, instead of music from competing online stores, which attorneys fighting Apple argue was anti-competitive behavior that left consumers paying more. And here's the twist. A key witness, despite the fact that he passed away three years ago, will be Apple founder Steve Jobs himself, addressing the court in a never-before-seen video deposition. His deposition could very well be damaging to the company. The New York Times reports they'll include emails from Jobs as well, possibly including a reported 2003 note about a competitor. We need to make sure that when Music Match launches their download music store, they cannot use iPod, he wrote. I am somewhat surprised that he was not more cautious about what he was doing. Apple declined to comment on the case. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.